go away early. All right. Make sure you're on live chat. I was going to get some hand lotion and put it on. That's what I'm going to do. Ugh. Well, hello everyone. I had to go get hand lotion. My hands felt like they were going to crack off. How is everybody today? I woke up to Ron said we had four inches of snow. Hi, Deb. How are you, babe? All is well here. Hi, Nathan. We are... Hi, Carol. We are uh, surviving the stupid weather. It's either one thing or another, isn't it? It's supposed to start warming up next week. I, I think I said that last Friday. Hmm. All right, I did something stupid. Hi, Jeffrey. Nathan, I'm doing good. Uh, yesterday, I spent most of the day uh, cleaning my pantry, pantries, and I, me and Ron. And I got to tell you, that was a lot of work. Uh, freezing your backside. <laughs> oh, it's snowing in Kentucky. Yeah, it's snowing everywhere. What's up with this goofy weather? So anyway... Cleaned out the pantry, got rid of some, lots of empty container, you know, consolidated spices and all kind of stuff. Hello, Annette Fane. I have not seen you in a while. Jeffrey, we're about, we're exactly in Kentucky, you know, in proximity in the state, are you? Burt's Bees. Mm. How are you, Annette? I haven't seen you for a while. Yep. Yes, uh, when I do the... <laughs> when I go to do the fridge... Hello, Carrie Ann. I am sure I'm going to find some experiments there. I think Ron got rid of one of them the other day, which kind of saddens me because, you know, you like to let them go as long as possible so that you don't even know what it is anymore. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. Center. Oh, By okay. Frankfurt. By Frankfurt. Well, we go kind of through there when we go other places in the south. What the? Got my volume off. We always seem to have phone issues, don't we? So, hey everyone. Don't forget the this weekend, um I think it's tomorrow night we're supposed to do it to set your clocks ahead. I've got the clock, it's in my... Hey, Deb. Um, in my room that I pack all the orders. Has been... Hello. Hello, D. Jeff. Hello, Carol. So, anyway, it's been on the other time all along, so I don't have to do anything to that. 
Same with our car, so we're good. Those are two we don't have to touch. So while I have I have a few people here, um, I don't know if you noticed that Dee posted. I had a talk with her, uh, I believe it was last night. Yes. Hello, Dee. We tried to talk. My phone was acting up. And, uh... Yeah. Uh, hey, Deb. <laughs> My uh, my van is the same way. It's uh, it's right six months a year. So anyway, um, I was talking to Dee because I had spoken to um, Jane Newhouse. Hi, Lisa. How are you? I heard uh, Anna talking about you today, saying what you got at the Dollar Tree. How you been, kiddo? Well, that's good. That's about all we've been doing. It's just kind of hanging. <laughs> so anyway, Jane Newhouse uh, has got to have surgery on her back. And she said it was like, the doctor told her it was going to be like having two knee replacements and two uh, hip replacements. That it was going to be that bad. And it was going to be four to six hours. They're doing something like compressing her spinal cord and putting all kinds of... Nuts and bolts. What's nuts in it. So, um, yes, I do remember the dork in shorts. <laughs> Excuse me? So anyway, um, oh, that's sorry to hear. What'd she die of? Ah, uh, that's a shame. Who was this? Uh, her her channel was Dork in Shorts. So so Jane is having the surgery on Monday. Well, she was trying to sell all the stuff that she's been buying for herself beautiful items and she was asking me you know my opinion of some things and um i said so i was telling d about it and we decided we would um set up a um gofundme page oh my god i know because i hadn't seen her in in a while so I didn't know what happened to her. So anyway, um, we started the GoFundMe page because she's not, ah, uh, well, that makes sense. Uh, we started the GoFundMe page so that she wouldn't have, first of all, she wouldn't be able to sell her stuff because she's going to the hospital Monday. So she wouldn't be able to pack anything, even if she had help, it, it would be impossible. Well, I heard from, I talked to her today because I was wondering if she had seen the GoFundMe page and, or let her know that she had one. And also, um, stick around for a while, Lisa. You can hear me jibber jabber. So, um, I, uh, I contacted her, I called her and she didn't answer. So I left a message. And, uh, so finally, um, I got a email from her and she said that she had a big branch across her driveway and she decided to drag it off. Well, when she started to drag it off, she fell backwards and broke her back again. So this woman is in dire need. She said that. She's going to be released to go home, I think, just long enough to get her other stuff to go back on Monday. Mm. Hi, CDC. How are you, babe? So, um, if you see the page and you can afford to give anything, Dee and I would appreciate it. And I know that Jane would appreciate it as well because... 
Um, I don't know if you, any of you know, but she has uh, split up from her husband, so she doesn't get any money. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what I was wondering about. That's what I was trying to say when my phone kept breaking up. Oh, Kevin. Kevin, I'm sorry. I forgot your name was Kevin. Hello, hello, little vintage me. I saw your St. Patty's Day decor. You're quite the decorator, you sweetie. I haven't seen you for a while, Diana. I know you've been laying low. So anyway, I, I you know, I know times are going to be hard with uh, everybody just with because. <laughs> because of gas, because of whatever. But if... You can, you know, afford to give five bucks, three bucks, you know, whatever you could do. It all adds up. And that would be so helpful for her. Because she has, I think she has uh, Social Security. And that's probably about it. I seriously doubt if her husband or ex, he's not her ex yet, is uh, giving her a, a nickel. He's... A very hateful man so and she doesn't have her she has one daughter who I don't think has a whole lot of money and uh, so anyway I, I think it would be helpful if you could donate um it the let's see I'll let Aunt, I'll let uh, D answer that where the link is Yes, there is. Someone always swears off. You can, no matter how hard you, you know, you feel bad for yourself, then you hear about somebody else. Like, for example, this lady, uh, Dork in Shorts, who passed away. Um, she had two strokes. Um, she was a really sweet person. And, uh, you know, we hear all the time of people we know uh, in the YouTube family that... Uh, D has posted the uh, GoFundMe thing right now. Um, I will try to post it also on my community page, and I think she did too. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Oh, lordy. And I don't even think she was that old. I mean, I don't think she was like a spring chicken, but she was... She was not that old. That is crazy. 47. Yeah, I knew she looked pretty young. Oh, 47. Uh, so the flesh-eating disease, what was that from? Just from something? How do people... You know, it seems like... You know, some people, it just seems like their luck... If it wasn't for bad luck, they wouldn't have luck. And... uh Dork and short sounds like one of them. She was more of a, a crafter. She did a, a, a lot of, you know, Dollar Tree hauls, stuff like that. But she did crafting and stuff. I think, I think she did crafting. So, you know, I, I have two, uh, two or three groups that I hang with. I have my old group that we used to, I hung with them more, but I still do plug in on occasion. The, the ones that we did our Dollar Tree hauls and crafted and stuff like that. And uh, I'm actually, Lisa, I actually craft more than I used to. Oh, that's right. She was Canadian. And then I have my beautiful reselling group that I've been with for, I don't know, a couple years now. And then I have a, a group of people that I watch. Hi, Glenda. Good to see you, sweetheart. Um, Ron's making fun of me. Uh, that I watch that are uh, preppers and stuff like that, which I don't. Homesteaders is a lot of my watch. My granddaughter wants to be a homesteader. So I started watching homesteading. So, yeah. So I watch all kind of things. I'm, I, I'm a multi-talented watcher. <laughs> but 
oh, you know, uh, Lisa, my granddaughter that lived, you know, in Michigan, well, she decided to up and move with her boyfriend to Oregon. So I don't have her there to visit. I don't have, she's not there anymore for me to visit. But I had talked to Ron not too have a long ago. I said, maybe we can get up and see. Uh, yes, that's what my daughter Sarah was going to make was a schoolie. I also watch a lot of schoolie stuff. And it ended up, they got a motor home and uh, they're out in Arizona. And they're as poor as two church mice. They're having a heck of a time. So I hope that uh, things pick up for them. I know that my daughter would have rather built a schoolie, but it was kind of a kind of a time crunch, so she couldn't do it. So anyway, um, yeah. So my daughter, my granddaughter, wants to be a homesteader. So I started watching these homesteading things, and quite honestly, Arms Family Homestead. Yeah, I will. I will do that. Let me write it down because I, I I have a memory of about three seconds. So Arms Family Homestead. There's one that I like really well. And then there's a couple other ones that are pretty good. But you know, I, I don't poo-poo them because um, if the crap hits the fan, they will have... Nothing. They will have... They will have food. They will have their ducks in a row. So, well, couples court. Wait, I missed something here. My grandfather is in Hawaii with her best friend. Oh, your granddaughter is in Hawaii with her best friend. Like living there? Diana, we had four inches of snow when my, we got up. It was supposed to be one to three, you know. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad she's not living there. Although, yes, if I were younger, I would definitely homestead. I, sold, I said that to Ron. And when I told that to my daughter, Sarah, whose daughter wants to homestead, she cracked up. Oh, my God. I can't believe she's that old already, Lisa. Jeez Louise. Well, the, my granddaughter, the one that was going to school up there, she's 23, I think it would be 24 this year. Maria just stepped into the house. Maria. Hello, Maria. I didn't see her. Mm-hmm. Oh, Deb, you're cracking me up. All right. I don't see Maria. Oh, I see her now. Hello, Maria. How are you, sweetheart? All right. Well, I think I will. Um, well, I don't have a place to do a big garden because we live in a mobile home park. I know. Isn't that weird? But we're right by the lake, so it must have been lake effect. So, I also start, started watching... Something popped up on YouTube that I watch on TV all the time. And it was about... Where's the little vintage at? Uh, I, Diana, where do you live in Indiana? It's not that far from us, I, I don't think. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry that you were in pain. I'm glad you're better now. Yeah, so I started watching people who do container gardens... So I got all the info how to do that, and it just so happens I have a lot of containers to empty. And I figured I can grow all kind of stuff in these containers. I got plenty of room to do it. I just can't uh, make a big garden digging in the ground where I'm at. So anyway, that's my story, and I am sticking to it. So we're going to start. Uh, as usual, I have a... Oh, that's right. Southern Indiana. Yeah. Knox County. Well, we're in Porter County, and we're just like sucking the lake dry here. So we're that, about 10 miles from uh, 
Lake Michigan. Yeah, so that's why we get snow when other we people We get don't. hammered. Not always. Sometimes we don't, but this time... Well, Jackie doesn't remember, though, so... No, I do remember us getting hammered. i just no, she... saying right now we're not. Jackie's going bye-bye. Well, anyway, we're going to start this here sale. So tell Ron to quit eating my crackers and... Um, They're not your crackers. Those are crackers, aren't they? No. What is it? No, no, it's black. It is crackers. So the first thing I have are these darling... Darling... What do, you, what do you want? South on Indy. Okay. Are you calling me darling? Um, our th I've got three golden books. One of them is Prayers for Children. Oh, okay. She's two hours south. South of Indy? Yeah. I will have to stop and see you sometime. This one is so sweet because it's got um, just all kind of sweet little prayers. And, and what I love is the uh, artist that illustrated it. it Illustrated it is Eloise Wilkin, Wilkin, I think is her name. And she does the most beautiful pictures. Look at the blue eyes on those the little girl. So there's that one. And this in really good shape. It's still got the sticker from where it came from. I think it was what, might have been one of my kids. I don't know. Or, oh, Annette Kane. She lives out. Uh, hey, Annette. My grandparents had a place in uh, Brazil. And then there's this one. This is also illustrated by El Eloise Wilkin. And it's called The New Baby. Terre Hut. She's now from Terre Hut. And the last one uh, belonged to my daughter's girlfriend, who I don't know where she lives anymore. And it's a really cute book called... Uh, it's real originally from 1952. This is the 1976 edition, but it's called Dogs. And these three books are nine dollars, number twenty-three. Nine dollars, number twenty-three for the three golden books that are in really, really good shape. Oh, thank you, Maria. Okay, I only have one Easter thing to. I got more things. I gotta find them. But I got this sweet little Easter bunny. It's another trinket box. I was on a trinket box roll. Um, it's not marked on the bottom, but it is in perfect shape. There's no chips or cracks or anything, and it is six dollars. And it is number nine. The sweet little bunny says, please buy me. You can uh, probably keep your chocolate eggs in there. Annette Fame. Thank you, Annette. I appreciate it. Yeah, I know I got a bunch more Easter stuff. I just got to dig it out. But since I spent the entire day yesterday ridding my kitchen of stupidness uh that kind of kind of blew it all righty i have this well i guess you'd call it a plate a bowl plate dish a dish uh and it is one that my brother got at a sale and it is luster it has a luster finish around the edges no all over i guess it, it is not marked on the bottom, but it is so pretty. It's got all these roses on it. It's got a little gold handle up here. And I don't know. I love roses, and I think 
I'm dying for spring, so anything floral and whatnot, I'm getting a bang out of here. So, so this is six dollars. I'm gonna guess it's from Japan, and there's no chips or anything, and it is number twenty-four. That's sharp. D. Thank you, D. I will tell Rocky thank you as well. <laughs> I might be, I have to call him. We're supposed to be going to a sale tomorrow, but I'm supposed to be at a, making pancakes at 7 o'clock in the morning. So I guess I did get to do both things. I have a hole in my chin. Mmm. I hate when that happens. Alrighty. I have a pretty little Fenton glass footed, uh, I guess, candy dish. Or you could put uh, cashews in it. If you're really goofy. Uh, it isn't marked, so it must have had a sticker on it. Um, it is ten dollars number fifteen. And it's it's in perfect shape. There's no um, you know, no chips or cracks or anything. Flea bites. On the other hand, I have flea bites. Carrie Ann, I had a feeling you would be saying that. Thank you, sweetheart. Carrie Ann for number 15, Ron. Okay, I got it down. Carrie, I have you. I always know Carrie Ann because you and I love the same things. The only reason I didn't keep it is because I have some already. Very nice, Carrie. It is very pretty. All righty. <clears throat> Um, I know somebody said they like this, so I'm going to show it. It's very, very Eastery and spring-like. It is made by um, Wheel Lock in Peoria, Illinois. Well, the origin, their company was in Peoria, but it was made in Japan. It is oven-proof. It is this gorgeous little creamer with tulips and roses on the front saying hello spring and then it's got this on the back hi poodle how are you baby and um hi, poodle this is five dollars and it is number 17. five dollars I'm going to tone the light down a little bit. It's kind of beaching everything out. Uh, that's better. How do you like that, guys? Um, that's kind of the way uh, Jackie is. She likes a little mood lighting. It was, you know. I, I thought it was bleaching everything out. Well, she does that. Um, I thought you were just being romantic. Good to hear that you're doing good, Poodle. Okay. I have this home interior figurine. It is called In the Garden, Mark 1436. It is of their greatest stories ever told line. It's from 1997. And it is home interiors. 
Jesus looks very, has a very sweet face, very contemplative. It's in perfect shape. There's no chips or, or cracks, and uh, he's got all his fingers and all that kind of stuff. And it is fifteen dollars, number eighteen. Fifteen dollars, number eighteen for Jesus in the garden. Jeffrey Ross. Thank you, Jeffrey. It is a beautiful, beautiful piece. Isn't it a beautiful face? Look at that. Of course, we know in reality his face, he would have been much darker in complexion, but he still would have had a beautiful face. Thank you so much. I have another one. That's Jesus with the little children. It's got, oh, I know I was going to keep this one. I thought I can't, I cannot keep every religious object I see. But I have the Jesus uh, with the child, little children. And it has, I want to say, I think one of his fingers is broke off. So I, you know, decided not to sell that one. But I bought this one more recently and I, I thought it was just, just so beautiful. So thank you so much. Alrighty. Hmm. Well, let's see here. All right, I have a heavy object. It is a um, green. It's a paperweight. You know, I think it's hollow, though. And just has thick glass walls. But it was, it's a blown glass apple. Paperweight, I guess you would say. And it is $10. Very cool. Number eight. $10. Number eight for the glass apple. The sides look mottled like there's uh Yeah, it's, it's. Um, different different shades of green in it. It's some like, dark, some light. It's like it was da daubed or dabbled or whatever. Yes. How about modeled? Modeled. It's got bubbles in it. M O T T L E D. In the glass. Rag mop. Okay. How about this next one? It's becoming that time of year when we want cold drinks. This is made by Colorcraft in Indianapolis, Indiana, where all the cool things are made. And um, it's in really good shape. <coughs> uh, it does have one little dent down here which, considering how they were abused, I know when I was a kid, you know, everybody was throwing them around and stuff. So, most people's would be pretty beat up. And it's kind of a pale gold, I guess. I don't know. It's hard to say. Hey, folks, this is one large martini. Do you, Deb? Well, this is $10. It's a two-quart pitcher. And it has the uh, ice lip here, which is nice. It is $10, number four. $10, number four for the... As a kid, I drank a lot of Kool-Aid out of those. Oh, yeah, me too. Carol Verbeers. I got you, girl. I was going to keep it and use it, but I, don't, I like a top on my Kool-Aid. Not my Kool-Aid. No. <laughs> that ain't what I'm saying. On my um, hey, Carol, iced tea. <laughs> we didn't need a top on it. We drank it so fast. Yes, they do sweat like crazy. That's what's so cool. I actually had one glass, and I, it wasn't an old one. I don't, well, it, had, it might have been. But um, 
I got rid of it, but uh, yeah, it does sweat like crazy. Thank you, Carol. By the way, all your stuff's packed up, ready to go. Uh, we're going. We're actually going to go out and mail it after the sale. Alrighty. Because I also sold something on eBay. Let me see. All right, I'm gonna. I'm going to do a couple of things that are delicate so I can get them off the. Uh, Carol, I like to put about half of it in the ice and half of it, whatever the liquid is, and it just kind of swirl it around. It just it uh, kicks me back. It, 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 it. The next thing I have that is rose. I'm on a rose kick tonight. Too bad Rose Spangenberg isn't here. Um, this is Capo de Monte. Capo de Monte. Ew. Which my daughter and I used to be mesmerized by it back in the 80s, I guess it was. Or 90s, whenever it was on the Home Shopping Network. It was like crazy selling it there. And we used to laugh. And some of it was very gaudy. But uh, this one is very gorgeous. It's just... One fully open rose and a bud. And it had some little like flea bites, which I touched up. Um, but I mean, there's no breaks or anything like that. Nothing is broken off. It's all there. And there is the sticker on the back. It says uh, Napoleon Capo de Monte. Very nice. And it was made in Italy. It is twelve dollars number two. Twelve dollars number two. It sits on a shelf, right? Oh yeah. Or you could I just, they're just looking for a way to wear, hang it. You could wear it for a ring. No, uh, well, I mean, I suppose you could run some ribbon through it and hang it up. I never thought of that. Okay. I'm going to then move this so I don't want to break it. We've seen me in action before. Well, while I'm on the uh, roses, I'm going to show you this that I almost dropped. Oh, my God. I almost had a heart attack here. This is a Lefton piece. And it is marked on the bottom and the sticker. And I would assume this would be considered a um, planter. Um, yeah, usually I'm not that lucky. <laughs> Uh, I think this is so beautiful. I just think these applied flowers are so gorgeous. Yeah, they're all there. Uh, there is one flower that has two petals off right here. Everything else is intact. There's no more. No, I'll take that back. There's one up here. There's a couple up here that have like one little piece. But you can't really tell because of the way they are. It's kind of hard to tell. The roses are all fine. And the... Yes, the roses are all fine. Um, it has gold around the edge, which is all there. None of it's missing. Or on the bottom. Anyway, it this is uh, bisque also. It's bisque. It is $8.00. Number one. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'd like I'd like to have some rose uh, wallpaper. That would be nice. I used to have lilac uh, wallpaper that was from France. Gorgeous. And uh, when the people bought my house, she took it all down and wallpapered over it with some kind of funky blue stuff from uh, Sears. I was like, whatever. 
Okay. Eight dollars, number one. We'll get you this gorgeous vase or planter, whichever you want to call it. All right. Let's move on to something other than roses. We're going to go with this. This is um, Party Light. And it is a candle holder for those big, fat, like three wick candles that they sell. However, I think it would be, I mean, you could use it as a cake plate. A small <laughs> torch. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you could put cupcakes on it. There's all kinds of things you could use it for because it's very large. It's got a real pretty... Uh, pattern on the edges and it is twelve dollars number 22 and let me tell you how big it is i was going to get a different uh it sits about five inches tall yes perfect for decorating i agree and it is about eight inches across and Elderly Poodle says, I will take it home with me. Thank you, Poodle. Yeah, it's it's so nice because it's all white, you know. So you could use it with everything. With ev everything. All right. Thank you so much, Poodle. You're going to have fun with that. I had made myself a three-tier tray. And it all came unglued. I got it. It lasted for like over a year. And then I had to, uh, I have to re-glue it. So what are you going to do about that, huh? All right. I have something that I think is extremely whimsical and cute. And... It is made in Japan. It's written in cursive. Made in Japan. And it is this adorable planter of a little Chinese boy. And he's very busy. So busy that he forgot and his pants have come open. And there's this little bobo sticking little out. breezy, isn't it? So perhaps that's why he's got that little smile on his face. I don't know. But I think it's a hilarious planter. And uh, if you have any kind of Asian stuff in your house, um, I do. But you know, in the 50s, Asian, Chinese, and Japanese stuff was like big. Mid-century modern, big. Yes. And so this is $10. And it is number 24. $10, number 24. 24 for the breezy. He is glossy. What number is it? Uh, it is number 24. Uh, no. No. The plate with the uh, rose was uh, 24 that D got. Okay, well then. I'm checking. Japan planner? Yeah. Oh, you got two 24s. Okay, 25. Oh, that's the last one. Okay, I'm sorry, this is number 25. 25. My bad. Poodle wants it. Oh, Poodle wants it. Okay, thank you, Poodle. You Poodle. know what? You know what would be really cool with this is uh, some bamboo grow, you know, put in it. Be a cute little bamboo pot. Although I kill even bamboo. So. Cool, Poodle. But I don't kill stuff on the outside. I don't know what it is. Uh, inside stuff, yes. Come on. Thank you. 
Miss Elderly Poodle. Okay. Well, I have. And now, Ron, I'm going to punch you one. It's Mrs. Noodle. Hello, Caroline. I'm, I'm looking to see I'm missing people. Young star girl. Hello. How are you? I I don't know you, but hello. Happy to see you. There's Cricket. Hello, Cricket. How are you, Han? Hello, um, Cricket. I have, I mean, we've seen these in a million different versions, but what I loved about these is they're itty bitty teeny weeny ones. And you know how I am about little stuff. I got this thing for little things. They are in really good shape. No snow yet? Oh, well, we got ours overnight. We got We got inches. enough for everybody. And they have their stoppers. And they have a NC Japan sticker on the back of each. And they are $8, number 14. $8, number 14. I don't know how much salt and pepper they would hold, but they would be super cool in a collection. Be great for a picnic. They would be cool if you, you know, have vignettes in your kitchen. Just a little filler here or there. Oh, thank you, honey. I appreciate that. So anyway, there's the... There they are. Picnics. <laughs> it's kind of like years ago, older people. Well, I mean, you know, they had old stuff like we're buying now. And then when, say, 20 years down the road, they got rid of it all because it was old junk to them. <clears throat> when my mother had her antique store, that was one of the hardest things because the old people would come in and they'd say, I had that, I have got that. There was a lot of Polish people. I had that, I had that. And my mom said, you know, it was kind of annoying. They weren't buying anything. They were just telling me what they had or used to have. What number were those? Number 14. Okay. Why, is it, aren't they number 14? Mm -hmm. I think the only mistake I made was that. Unduly old. Oh, I'll point it out too. I know you all. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, <laughs> I got an even better story. My friend, her mother, her house was loaded with antiques. Well, when her her dad passed away first, and then her they her mother they she got too old to take care of her house. It was huge. Hi, Muscle Man Ron. <laughs> His name is Kevin. What's so, up, dude? So, uh, she said, I I called a man and he came in and he cleaned everything out for me. And he didn't charge me anything. So, I was talking to her about it recently. I said, I, I still can't believe you did that. And she said, well, I didn't know. I didn't know that you... I said, well, you know my mom had an antique store. Wouldn't you figure that I liked old stuff, too? Yeah, she likes me. But to her, it was just old junk, you know? I'm old stuff. She grew up with it. I like Ron. He's old stuff. All right. I have this mid-century uh, little three-section tray. Um, I don't know the pa pattern name or if there is a pattern name. Um... Unfortunately, as is the problem with most of these little sawtooth things, one of these does have a little chip out of it, but I didn't even see it until I got home. Uh, I didn't even really could. I didn't really feel it. 
So it is like, let's see, I'm going to find it again. It's like right here. You can't really even tell. Oh, I know. I could be, I could be sick about it, Deb. Um, I, I suppose, you know, it's like a, a relish tray. You, uh, can put, um, or I think it'd be cool with olives in it or whatnot, you know. However, because it's so pretty, I think it would be pretty on your dresser or on your dressing table or whatever, uh, you know, with your ring, you know, jewelry in it or... We got um, one in the... You got the change in one, you got your keys in the you other. You know, hair things in it. Women don't have chains, honey. <laughs> anyway, God bless Ron. It is $5, and it is number 16. $5, number 16, for the uh, are you crazy? little glass. Yes, exactly. Glass divided dish. Number 16, $5. It's huh? so pretty. I love the little, you know, all the little stuff on it. I'm trying to bring back the clear. Or, or, three different kinds of candy coming up. You know, it's, it is Easter. You could put candy in it. That's true. Three different kinds of candy. Thank you, Maria. I'm trying to, uh, since everything is going up, I tried to keep my prices kind of low. I really did. But, um... You know, I'm still trying to make money, but I'm not trying to, I'm not going cuckoo. Let's put it that way. Well, that's not true. I already went cuckoo. It was a, it was a short he, trip. Hello. Hi, Jeannie. How are you, kiddo? Hey, did shy you, girl. Did you get any snow? Oh, do you? All right. I have this here, eggshell nautilus creamer. Um, it is, I'm sure has probably had a sugar bowl with it. Um, it has one little chip somewhere, I think, maybe, maybe not. I thought it had one little chip. What about the bottom? No. No, it wasn't on the bottom. I thought it was at the top. Well, I can't find it now, but I thought there was a little chip. However, I just thought... No, maybe it wasn't. Um, it's really pretty. It's got all kind of fl flowers on it. Believe it or not, it's roses. There is a little scratch. Like across this rose. Um, it, it, it would be nice on your table to use as a creamer. But I thought because of the shape, it would look so cute with some little small, you know, some flowers in it for spring. I think that'd be really pretty. Even an air plant. Or an air plant. I killed, I killed my air plants. But anyway, it is $5 and it is number seven. Five dollars, number seven. It was made in the U.S. of the U.S. of A. I know. I, I didn't realize they had that many, many many rose things here. All right. Um. I am going to have an offer up now. So if you need to refresh or anything or do what you got to do. And this one is made by Berman and Anderson Incorporated 
in New York, but it was made in Japan. And it is this gorgeous singing nun uh, music. It plays music. And it does play the Dominique song. Let me... Let me. I will be starting this. It's number six. I will be starting this at $15. Got Jeffrey at 15. I have Jeffrey Ross at $15. Hey, uh, you guys remember that song? Uh, it was about 100 years ago. Dominica, Nica, da, 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 yeah, that's what it plays. They don't remember. Da, 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 da. I have Carol at 16. Carol? You know, if uh, whoever wins this, they has to sing the song. I was excited that the it still worked real well and everything. And it's in beautiful shape. There's no chips or anything. They got real pretty little faces. Jeffrey's at 17. And Carol's at 20. Yeah, these these nuns have like they look like the flying nun hats. Yeah, that was uh what was it? Sally? That was her name, Sister Bossa Nova. <laughs> Jeffrey is out. So, uh, if there are no more offers, um, you ready? Ron will do the countdown. Okay, ready, guys? It's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Carol's got it. Bingo. Thank you, Carol, so Carol's much. Carol's got it at $20 for the singing nuns. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Jeffrey already... And by the way, stop. Sold. <sighs> Thank you, Maria. Uh, Jeffrey has... Um, he already has them in black. I believe his, the ones he got from D are in black. And then I think he said he found some other ones. He's going to start a singing nun collection. Jeffrey, you sound like you're like me, that you like lots of uh, religious things. All right. Thank you so much, Carol. I, I know you will enjoy it. I, th I thought it was in beautiful shape. I almost, say, I almost choked when I saw it. I was looking in, the, in a glass case, and I saw it, and I said, oh, could you please take that out? I would like to see it. And it is just so pretty. Okay, let me say here. I don't want to put that there. I want to put it right there. Probably, I should probably, no, I should actually. I'm going to move these over here. Run. Make sure that you don't. You know. Move the chair? Yeah, because I got Jesus and the nuns on the chair. Okay. Jesus and the nuns on the chair. Come on, everybody. Sing it. Very nice, Carol. Okay. I have this gorgeous clear glass basket. I do not know what this pattern is called. But I've seen it before. I think it's called Tisket. And it's so pretty. And it is in perfect shape. No chips or anything. I would imagine that it'll sparkle like crazy with the sunlight. But with Easter coming up, I thought it'd be a nice 
little basket to have. It is $12 number 19. $12 number 19. It's uh, it's not, I mean, you can tell it's not real big. Be a nice little um, candy dish for sure. No, you know what it needs? Those little bitty roses. Oh, you have the individual ones in black? I Yeah, I saw them on uh, eBay. Needs uh, just little roses, little rosebuds. I think would need little... Uh, Hershey's Kisses. Diana, I think you're right. I'm so glad you came. You're just full of ideas tonight. I've been I've missed you being at my sales. Okay. Alrighty, let's see. I'm gonna swap places here for a minute. Alrighty. My next piece is this gorgeous um Talavera wall plate. It is marked on the back, Mexico, T-A-L dot L. I don't know what that means, but Talavera. The print on the front is just gorgeous. It would look real pretty in a kitchen. Um, will look real pretty anywhere. Bathroom, kitchen. Um, I was going to measure it here. It is, I thought it was 10 inches across. And it is $12, number 20. $12, number 20 for the Talavera. 10 inch wall plate it's got little holes at the top for you to run wire or ribbon through so, yeah, it you, does. so you can hang it up I was actually sitting there wondering if you could put it on a counter if you had like huge counters you could throw uh, cooking utensils on top of it while you're doing that but it's, it's kind of big yeah, that is. I wouldn't want to do that. They make they make I know all I kinds know. of things. I was just thinking. Okay. Woo. We're having us a slide in. Where do I want to go? I have a very pretty Nippon um, cool. trinket box. It is it's very um, delicate. Gold and it is uh, Moriage. It has. Um, like little looks like gems but I it's probably just paint I'm guessing I don't know but it has little raised gem like things all over it and purple and turquoise it is marked Nippon on the back somewhere here It is twelve dollars number ten. Twelve dollars number ten. No chips, no cracks. Doesn't even have any crazy, oddly. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> the signing nun. <clears throat> That's okay. We'll forgive you this time. I have a pair of pink depression glass um, salt and pepper shakers. They have a floral pattern running around, down the four sides. Um, they have aluminum tops, which are in pretty good shape. And I, the tall ones, um, they have no markings on them. They are $12, number 13. $12, number Could I hit this? Um, I have this very vintage uh, Hawaii bill thing for your bills. It's like a plastic on the back. Um, it says letters on top, which is Kind of funny. We don't get a whole lot of snail mail anymore. Um, bills. And miscellaneous. And it is like a straw. It has like a woven edge. It's in really nice shape. It is $8 and it is number 21. $8.21. Um, I'll let you know how long it is here in a minute. Uh. 18 inches. How do you know? Just a little over 18 inches. Long. Very cool. A very, very cool mid century piece eight dollars number 21 I have this beautiful floral teapot. On this side, it is gorgeous pansies. And I'm not sure what the white flowers are. Lids like this. On this side, it is roses and uh, other flowers as well daisies the gold on it is in great shape it's not you know worn off or anything it is made by arthur wood and son Staffordshire, england and uh they make gorgeous teapots. They make, uh, they're as good as, uh, I'm trying to, th been trying all day to think of the ones I used to always get. That my mom used to sell. But it is a very, very excellent product. And it's in really nice shape on the inside. It's not all stained or anything. There's no cracks or chips. 
This beautiful teapot is $15, number 11. $15, number 11. I love the pansies on it. I think they are so pretty. It's very nice. Yes, it is a beauty. I agree. And all the gold is still on there. Yeah, everything's in beautiful shape. Dee, if you and I kept all the beautiful teapots that we love, we'd have to have a house just for teapots. Um, the next thing I have is this set of Pimpernel um, coasters. Um, I showed you the... Uh, placemats a couple weeks ago well this is the coasters um the box even is in beautiful shape these are the nicest coasters uh i i tried one just to see you know if they worked well and they do um this is the front picture very spring like picture um and the back is Stamped, oh, it has a sticker on it. Pimpernel, made in England. They have a real nice coaster or cork back piece. And um, there are six of them. They're all in beautiful shape. Here's one that I used. And I didn't clean it off good. I'll clean it off. Anyway, they are very, very nice. You know, something you wouldn't be embarrassed to have sitting on your coffee table. Some coasters look like. So anyway, these are $12 for the six coasters. And, um, oh my nose it just, and it is number 12. Six coasters, $12, number 12. The next thing I found, and I was surprised because I've found these many times and then in horrible shape, but this one was in beautiful shape. And it is this beautiful dresser tray. Um, it's in beautiful shape. What is that there? No discoloration on the mirror. No. This is, um, I saw somebody say something and I didn't catch what they said. Oh, like your son's paps coasters. Yeah, like that. <clears throat> anyway, this is going to be an offer up. Number five, Ron. And I'm going to start this at $8. Eight dollars. Eight dollars. I'm going to just tilt it like this. But it, I mean, it, it is it's really nice. It has a um, brown, like velvet back, you know, back elderly poodle. Poodle has has ten dollars on it. Ooh. I had one of these when I was in high school. It was like right, right. Mine looked almost like a 
picture frame. Yeah, Poodle's got it for ten dollars. New England Thrifter, hi sweetheart. Uh, Poodle Naza for twenty three dollars. Hmm. Poodle, why are you outbidding yourself? New England Thrifter. Oh, you're bumping it up. Oh my word, girlfriend. Oh, that's right. Your name is Helen. I I always forget it till somebody else says it. All right, Poodle has bumped this up. She's got it for twenty three dollars. Do I hear anything from anyone else? Shall I send? Um, You're sending me a message uh, with a reflection there. I want to send a lot of people. Well, Poodle, I know. I know that, but I'm trying to, you know, you know what I said about the glasses. I'm not going to. It is what it is. So, so is anyone else bidding against uh, Poodle? Poodle? Oh, that come on. She's not going to. Come on, guys. Somebody else bid. I don't want to. <laughs> Hey, you come over here in Indiana and you make me take it. I'd love to see you. Okay. Okay, ready. Ron's gonna Ron's gonna close it down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sold to Poodle. I know it's worth more. Sold. Stop. It is sold to Miss Elderly Poodle, who wants me to come to California and kick her butt. Okay. And let me tell you. You're on the plane. <laughs> oh, my girlfriend, I wish. Um, thank you very much. I try to keep my prices low. I really do. So that everybody has a chance to own some pretty things. That's just why I do it. All right. Oh, um, I have one last item. I know uh, there's other sales, Jeffrey, and I don't know who else. So I'm, I'm guessing that people are going to other sales. All right, my last item is stamped press cut on the inside. And it is this beautiful, absolutely gorgeous set of set of creamer and sugar. I know they are. And um, this actually looks like the same pattern as on that basket. Let's see. No. Mm, it's very similar. It's familiar. It looks similar. Anyway. It's not, though. Is this beautiful creamer and sugar. They're press glass. Probably... 30s or 40s, I don't know. Uh, they have no issues, no breaks anywhere, no cracks, no chips. And this beautiful set is $15, number three. $15, number three. They would be so pretty to bring out when you have company. You know, don't use them every day, but put them away for when you have company. Thanksgiving. Easter. I do remember that. I had a very cute little blue and white cow pitcher that I bought in Arizona, and when I unwrapped it, it was in a million pieces. 
And um, I was so upset. I told my daughter, Sarah, she said, I thought we wrapped it so good. I said, well, we were kind of running out of wrapping stuff. We just had a couple plastic bags wrapped on it, wrapped around it, and it didn't, didn't keep it good. So I was kind of sad, but oh, well. Okay. So. That's a beauty. If there's no one that's interested, then I will put it aside. Um, is there anyone that would like me to go over anything or show you something again in case you kind of wanted it, but you didn't know or for sure? If uh, no one wants to see anything again, then I guess we will be done and you can all go to whoever's sale yeah. you go to after mine. Uh, or you go, you go night night. You can go night night. Um, I will show. I, I'm surprised nobody bought the little golden books um for nine dollars because a curious cat you unfortunately missed the whole sale do you want me to show you anything kiddo i don't like the time of my sale i'm gonna be honest with you it, it seems too early Uh, I know there's a lot of people that have sales later on Friday, but um, it just seems like it's right at dinner time. Um, I have this one is dogs. It's got all kind of cute pictures of dogs. Right, it's right at supper time. And I have this one that is the new baby. And it is illustrated by Louise Wilkin, which is that one that makes the gorgeous faces, such as this. And the last one is Prayers for Children, and Louise Wilkins illustrated this one as well. And uh, let me show you some here. Look at this. So pretty. And the three books are $9. They're in really good shape. Really good shape. Blurry? I'm always blurry, so I'm no help. I'm blind as a blurry bat. Okay. Alrighty. Um, what else didn't sell, Ron? Uh, let me see. Uh, man, I can't see shit today. Excuse my language. Uh, Napoleon. Uh... This little creamer didn't sell. It's got tulips and roses on it. it looks very nice and spring like it's five dollars number 17 it's blurry really yeah it is huh Oh, well, great. Well, maybe I don't it's, see it pixelated, but it's definitely blurry. Maybe it's telling me to. Is it better if I'm backed up? Pixelated. No, I don't see pixelated, but I definitely see blurry. Is it too hard to see? 
Oh, it's it's uh, what it is. It's difficult to see the detail on some of these things. Okay. Well, I don't know what to do about all that. So. Okay. Okay. Now it's blurry. Okay, Diana, I sure will. Um, I should be done making pancakes by that time. So I will... I'll try to make sure that I um, make myself a note. All right. So I showed the little picture for five dollars. Okay. What else? Ron? Um, I have this pretty clear glass um, basket. It is. $12, number 19. I have this Talavera wall plate for $12, number 20. It is 10 inches across. It's marked on the back. I gotta quit doing that. Um, I have this Hawaii bill holder. It's a uh, woven straw and it's got all kind of straw decorations on it. It is $8, number 21. I have this Nippon Moriage trinket box. No chips. It is marked on the bottom Nippon and is twelve dollars number ten. Uh are you watching to see if I'm showing anything that are had sold? Uh, yeah, so far you're okay. okay. Um, I have this three sectioned glass um, tray. Could be used for in the bedroom, could be used for candy dish, could be used for kitchen. Five dollars, number 16. I have this little creamer. Uh, it is eggshell nautilus made in the USA. It is for five dollars. Um, I have this Capo de Monte rose. Sticker on the back. Well, happy anniversary. I've been on for like two, a lot of years, I think. This is $12, number 
number two for the Capo de Monte Roses. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I have this Lefton stickers on the bottom and the stamp um, planter with the roses on it. It is $8. Number one. So is there anything else? Should I show something else? <clears throat> I think that's it, huh? Well, the person that had missed the whole thing. I yeah, was, Curious Cat. Yeah, Curious Cat, but I haven't... I don't know if there's been anything that she wanted to see. Number 10? Sure. What's number 10? Uh, the uh, Mirage Trinket Box. The okay. Mirage de Nippon. Okay. That one. Closer. Yeah, it's blurry. It's it's hard. Um, curious cat. Uh, it's uh the what is on there is very intricate, and the camera's not showing it. And but it's it's uh. Some of the stuff has been meticulously applied to it also. There's like uh it's it's not jewels, but you can see where they put dabs of paint in places and it's uh uh it's hard to see with uh, what's going on there. The books were the books were number twenty three. For nine dollars, did Annette Fane buy them? Books were. The golden books. Yeah. No, I don't have uh, Annette down there. Um. Three golden books, nine dollars, number. 20. We don't have it down that she bought them. They were nine dollars, number twenty-three. Annette, did you buy them, or is she not here anymore? Yes, this does look very old. I don't know if it is real old, but... Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. You're just trying to help. I mean, it's Nippon. I don't... I. I I imagine it's fairly old, but um, it. Uh, I know it looks ancient the way it's made. It does look really old. Yeah, I'm almost a true antique. I, I don't think I'll live to be a true antique, but I'm getting really close. <laughs> Three hours apart via uh, the airplane, right? Oh, oops. Excuse well, me. I... Yes. I remember that. I remember reading that. Oh, yes. That too. Oh, yeah, I got, I got to write down that you're doing your thing. Uh, let's see, 11 o'clock. Ooh. Eastern Diana.
Well, guys, I appreciate all that you bought. I appreciate that you come to my sales. Yeah. I love you guys so Thanks, much. Thanks, guys, for coming. And um, I will see you. I keep burping this Pepsi. I will see you next Friday. So be there or be square. Thank you guys. It's always fun. Man, I hope I make it uh, to, <coughs> to see your sale, uh, Maria. I try. Bye, Glenda. Um, I try really hard to uh, make it, but somehow I miss it half the time. Oh, Poodle, I love that you buy my stuff, and I love that you come and hang with me every Friday. I love everybody that comes and hangs out. It's, uh, yes, it's it's wonderful. Bye, Diana. I will see you tomorrow, sweetie. Take care, guys. <clears throat> Come on. And, um... Get over here. Hey, mom. We will... I'm going to go because I haven't made dinner yet. Got to make some supper for my man. We're going to have us some cheese ravioli with sauce. That's what we're doing. All right, guys. Love you.